Hello! In this video we'll go over all the different view settings in Videographer as well as how to take screenshots. So if we go to the settings menu, settings tab, you can choose your theme and right now it's set to auto but you can choose light or you can choose dark. This can be really useful if you're working with light beads you might want a dark theme. If you're working with dark beads you might want a light theme. Whatever makes your beads show up a bit better and helps you get a sense of the pattern. You've got that flexibility. You can choose for the ruler tool to display in centimeters or inches, and we'll go over that in the next video. You can choose to show row and column numbers, and the row and column numbers will change as you hover the mouse over each bead. You can choose to show the tooltips, which are the descriptions of each tool in the toolbar. You can choose to show bead symbols, now these won't display until you've assigned the bead symbols, and you can do that in the palette menu at the side. You can also do that in the palette settings if you're a paid member, but we'll go over that in another video. You can choose to show inactive beads, which means the excess canvas will be visible or not. You can choose to render as simple blocks with no bead texture, and I really like to do this to get a better sense of what the finished piece will look like, especially if I'm using opaque beads or matte beads. Sometimes rendering as simple blocks gets the project to show up a bit more like it will when I've beaded it. You can show bead cat for tips. You can choose to show bead cat on the start, and if you're a paid member, that means bead cat will be waiting for you when you start the app. And you can enable mouse scroll, which means that if you're on a touchpad or you've got a rollerball, you can navigate really quickly around the canvas just by moving the mouse rather than clicking and dragging with the hand tool. Two more things. If you're an iPad user, this is the only place where you can load in an image for transferring to beads, either converting a photograph or tracing over. And Lastly, you can choose to show guides, and you can choose to specify the spacing horizontally and vertically, and this can really help if you're designing something, say, geometrical, and you need to get the spacing just right. And you can also choose the guide color. There we are. The last thing I'd like to show you is how to take a screenshot. The button's right here, this little camera. You can click on it to open it or save it. And as you can see, it's just a screenshot of what's there, minus the tools at the top and the palette at the side. So set up the space however you want it, and then you can click screenshot and it will capture that. Now I've chosen this example because when I share brick stitch patterns, I normally just share the color chart rather than the word chart. And so this is how I'd set it up if I was going to take a screenshot to share with other people. If you're using Beadographer for free, you can take a screenshot and you can bead like that. If you're a paid member, you can take a screenshot like this and use it in the PDF export if you'd like the setup to be like this rather than have the color chart and the word chart. And we'll talk about that when we get to PDF exports.